Uh, right, let me explain quickly. This is January 2020. Uh, the video that you're watching, the Carrera GT, was taken maybe two years ago now. Um, those of you that watch the channel regularly might remember that I did a, a small video with it where I was showing the difference between shining the light directly on the panel uh, and then moving the light away from the panel. Uh, you can see that video here or here linked. I never know which side it's going to go. Um, but this was the rest of the footage that I took that I never did anything with. Uh, so I thought I would uh, put it up. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, there's another video to come after this again, which was taken a while ago and I'm going to be uploading it now. Um, so yeah, this was a long time ago. Enjoy. Pretty, isn't it? Anyway, I'm here to polish it, not to just look at it. I'm Nathan, welcome to the channel. If you've not been here before, uh, I run Cambridge Auto Gleam. I'm a detailer. I'm gonna make this car look better than it already does. This is in for a paint correction detail and whatever else I can do to improve it, really. Solid black paint, uh, not the easiest to do. Uh, in fact, probably one of the hardest uh, colors. So I'll show you some before and afters on that shortly. I'll show you on the back because it is a pretty, Pretty cool car. In fact, let me show you the engine. Yeah, 5.7 V10, sitting down in there somewhere. These are air intakes. And these actually are um, there to feed the uh, rear brake discs. So you've got air intake on the engine cover there. The air kind of scoops down into those and that angles it at the back of the brake disc. But other than the, uh, the swirls, which I'll try and show you shortly, um, pretty good condition really, not many stone chips, not much, like I say, in the way of road grime. So it's just gonna be a case of tidying up the shots and giving it a good polish. about a week since the last bit of video. Been on holiday since then, went skiing, uh, back on this now, and I've been polishing bonnet wing inside the little wheel bit, which I'll show you on this side. So this is kind of up inside the arch, but that is painted bodywork inside there. And you can see that this, this wing kind of sits, sits out from that. Uh, also down in that little shut line, you can see all the water marks and underneath the indicator there as well. So I want to be able to clean these up, get them as perfect as possible. Obviously it's one thing just machine polishing the front of this panel, which as you can see needs quite a lot of machine polishing from all the marks, uh, but it's going to be quite difficult to get a cloth down inside there and clean this bit up in there where all those watermarks are. Quite a few defects on the car as well. Gloss black, it's taken quite a while to get the paint up to the standard I want. So I'm gonna remove that section. I've worked on a few of these before, like I said, and I know that bit comes off fairly easily and then that'll give me much better access to the, uh, the bodywork behind it. So that's that section off. See how dirty it is on the back, so we're gonna get all that cleaned up. 
This indicator section comes out as well, which I'll show you later, um, and then I can clean behind that as well. Having to do a lot of bits down on the floor that I'd normally do on the ramp because these Carrera GTs are notoriously difficult to jack up. First of all, you have to have a special jacking plate that screws to the bottom of the car and then that jacking plate you have to strap down uh, to, the, to the lift so that the car doesn't tip off backwards. Uh, not something I'm going to start trying in here. So unfortunately I just have to do what I can on the arches and the inside of the wheels with the car down on the floor. But it's not too bad with these front bits that come off, you can kind of get your hand inside most of the arches. Uh, this car had a big service at the factory recently as well, so um, everything's pretty clean underneath because a lot of the components would have been taken off and then probably just given a quick clean before they're put back on, so it's, it's not too bad. Wednesday, finished the uh, bits inside the wheel arch last night, got this bit off and I'm going to take the indicator off because like I say, to get down inside, uh, can you see this bit where all those watermarks were, uh, need to get the indicator off. That's pretty simple, little screw on the back, give this bit a clean up as well and then it means I can get on there to clean all those watermarks up. Also obviously while this is off I'm going to give the back a clean up, give it a polish so that when you look inside that bit of wheel arch it looks really kind of perfect and clean. Solid black paint is a pain in the, yeah, um, hate doing solid black cars, but it's actually coming up quite well. Still got to work on this side. 
I've just recorded the video that you may or may not have seen where I'm kind of showing the difference between having the light directly on the panel or pointing it at the wall for the before and afters. Um, if you didn't see that, go and have a quick look. Um, vaguely interesting, but basically I'm gonna actually polish this panel now. In, in the other video, I just moved the light and did a before and after and didn't do any polishing. So let me show you actually what I'm up against. So pretty dull and swirly, lots of little marring marks. Can't tell that it's been polished before, so um, it's probably just kind of years of kind of people leaning over it, touching it. Obviously the door handles are under here, so you end up putting your hands all on this section as well. But I'm gonna just polish this top part of the door tonight before I leave and it will look a lot glossier and shinier once I finish. And then I'll show you a proper after photo and video of this bit with direct light on it. Correction part complete, it's still a bit hazy, so now with the refining. So with the light focus squarely on the paint, that's the finish, and as I run onto the rear wing, that's what it was like before, in the before photo. And that's once it's polished. Evening guys, it is Friday evening, uh, the last day on the Crowa GT and I'm just uh, putting the final coat of protection on now. It had a uh, G-Technic Crystal Serum Ultra on earlier. I didn't show that because I've shown that plenty of times in videos and like I said before, um, I'm not trying to do a tutorial on how to detail so I might not show every single aspect of each job. Uh, but if you want to see that sealant being applied, go back and have a look at some previous vlogs. Um, this then had uh, C0 V2 instead of XO. Uh, I just think it gives a slightly glossier finish, especially on this non-metallic gloss black paint. I thought it would benefit from it. It is really sticky and greasy and hazy to apply over Serum Ultra, so it's a bit of a sacrifice to do, but the upside is it looks like this. As I'm going round, I'm just finessing the last few little bits. Got to take the roof panels off now just to get to these little rubbers to make sure that they're nice and clean. Uh, engine bay's looking good. Uh, like the um, McLaren 720, lots of kind of different aspects of this car that you might not necessarily um, see on the initial look. Um, but bits like underneath the spoiler, you saw me polishing that. Underneath the diffuser, you saw me kind of down there cleaning and polishing that by hand. Uh, so yeah, it's again another complicated car. So I've already taken the other side out. Driver's side comes out in a second and it's just a case of releasing the catch. Lifting it up carefully and out. And then it's just chance to go around to give everything a final wipe, a little bit of dust, a few remaining water spots. I did take these out when I dried the car down, but it doesn't hurt to just double check everything after it's been in the booth for so long. 